Kala Pascha. Easter is a holiday about faith, family, food, and friendship. Yet I know that many of you today are not celebrating the Easter holiday as you ordinarily would, with family and with friends. This is a situation with which I am all too familiar. As a career diplomat, I've often thought the hardest part of my job is being apart from family and friends on occasions when we should be celebrating together. Our loved ones are what give our lives so much meaning and joy. It is never easy being apart from them, especially on a day like today. Yet what we can do to show our loved ones we care is to stay apart because it is by practicing social distancing and staying home that we will be able to keep our loved ones safe. I hope that many of you today will be able to take advantage of new technologies to be together with your family, whether that's sharing a virtual meal together or participating in religious services. Because it's by being together apart that we will be able to defeat this unseen enemy known as COVID-19. None of us would have wished to find ourselves in the circumstances that we do today but we can choose to focus on the positives. I know that I, for one, have truly come to appreciate the value of the human touch, a hug, or even a simple handshake. Many parents have come to appreciate their children's teachers even more as they are spending time together with their children, more than they all normally would, with all the joy that means, as well as all the headaches. I know that this has also given all of us a chance to reflect on what's truly important as our hectic lives slow down. So what are we choosing to do with that time? Now that time that we used to try and find just a little bit of, are we taking up a new hobby? Perhaps you're reading a book, that book that you always meant to read. Maybe you finally have time to see that movie or that television series. Perhaps you're cooking or stress baking. Maybe you're spending time in the garden, in nature. Perhaps you're just appreciating the quiet, the stillness, the solitude of it all. I know that I am doing all of the above. The coronavirus has given us an opportunity for global introspection on a scale that we've never had before. And I hope that we will see the benefits of that introspection for many years to come. On this Easter holiday, I'd like to express my appreciation and thanks to so many here in Cyprus. First and foremost, to the healthcare workers, the doctors, nurses, and others who are keeping us safe every day by tending to the sick and keeping us all healthy while putting their lives at risk. I'd like to thank the grocery workers, the pharmacy workers, the bakery employees, and the kiosk owners who are keeping us fed and provisioned. I'd like to thank the police, the firefighters, and others who are putting themselves at risk to keep our, us safe. I'd like to thank your government for its forthrightness in managing this crisis, its transparency, and the clarity of its communication with those of us who live here. I have met as a diplomat, extraordinary people and traveled the world to do so, and they've come from all walks of life. But what this virus has taught me is that you don't have to travel to find extraordinary people. They are all around us, and that's especially true here in Cyprus. Springtime and Easter are known around the world as symbols of renewal and hope. As you celebrate this Easter holiday today, together with your loved ones, whether that's in person, virtually, or apart, but together in spirit, I wish you much joy. We will emerge from this crisis stronger together. Kala Pascha.